So these ladies are lovely and cozy in here when it's a hard, hard frost on the ground. The problem with the hard, hard frost on the ground is that the water pipes are frozen. So I'm having to give them a water container on the inside. You can still see it freezes on top. You can hear them moaning. Um, yes, I know. Well, you've got water right there. You fed. You have hay. You've had your breakfast. What more do you want, Mrs.? So, I now have to go. My rain barrels are empty because I've been filling them up with um, water for here for the yos. I now have to take bins with the quad and the trailer to our aquifer which steam will be rising off of and fill up some bins full of water so that I don't run out of water because running out of water for sheep that are about to lamb is not a good thing. It's a beautiful sunny day. Winter's long shadows. And you can see the yos are enjoying the sun, the yo lambs, up on top of the hill. Blue, blue skies but all the water's frozen and all the water pipes are frozen. So now to go to the aquifer and fill up some bins. I've collected all our spare bins that are empty and can have water in them, as well as so that they can, the lids can clip so that uh, when they're full of water, the wa lots of water doesn't splash out when we're going over the rocky ground, rutty ground. So those bins are going to be filled up with water and then distributed among horses, alpaca, sheep, and I also have to bring some down to the rams as well. They'll need it. So the ground's not thawing and all our water pipes are very shallowly planted. So it's one of the failings of winter farming here in Ireland as you assume the ground is not going to freeze solid. I had this as a back warmer. She was a great back warmer as I drove along. But I can fill these bins up with water now to water all the livestock because the mains aren't walking, working. Are you helping? You're so helpful. You could dog. But you can see the aquifer is flowing and is not frozen. And when we had the deep, deep freeze a few years ago, this was the only source of water for the house and all the livestock. So I spent my life with the quad and the trailer and bucketing bins of water, filling bins of water with, um, filling, with buckets filling, ah, sure, I can't talk straight, my mind's gone numb.
Here we go. Bin's full of water. It's still flowing out. I barely made a dent in it. Look, oh, that's a gorgeous reflection of the sun on the trees in the puddle. So you can see the water flowing down the hill. Thank goodness for the aquifer that the mains have frozen and uh, so I now have to feed, drink to the livestock this way. amazing I don't know if you can see it but there's steam still rising off of these buckets of water that's how cold it is I don't know if you can see the steam rising what are you doing you're eating frozen bits of ice yeah but the steam there I don't know if you can see that is rising off of this water from the aquifer I'm here now and I'm gonna fill this empty water tank here with water that will probably freeze again but it'll be full and then put one of the empty bins down in the shed with the lid on so that I can decant into the other bucket. So this is uh, what we're at today, watering livestock with because of the frozen mains. <laughs> 